We've had the email in from Julie, one of our lovely customers, and Julie asked, how can I pick a vacuum cleaner that's going to help me lift the pile of my car with where it's matted down quite a little bit? So I, try, I would like to explain that to you, Julie, as to what's the best thing to do. Uh, before we get there, I just want to explain that there are different types of carpets and um, what to look out for. Now, of course, what Julie is referring to is what I have in front of me that's called a cup pile carpet. That means basically that the pile of the carpet is standing upright like my fingers and it's cut to the top. So that means it ends in the end of the fiber. So it looks basically like that and of course there's many of them. And over time they do lower the leg, go and lay down and that's why you have a matted area and this is where Julie would like to get a vacuum cleaner that can help to lift that pile. Now in another video I would explain the difference between a wool carpet and a synthetic carpet and why the carpet pile tends to lay down. But for now, let's see if we can answer Julie's question on why, um, oh, sorry, what vacuum cleaner would she rather use um, that's better for a carpet where the pile is lying down. Now, over the years, I've seen many people choose many different vacuum cleaners and there's some brilliant machines out there. There are some that's really great at certain things and not so good at others. And today, I just want to give you a very brief overview as to the two different types. And of course, there might be some different ones, but these are, these are the main ones you'll see in the home. First of all, you get upright vacuum cleaners that I have over here. And then you get a tub-like vacuum cleaner as the Henry I have over here. And what I want to explain quickly is the difference between the two. Firstly, we look at Henry, and Henry is really easy to move around. And of course, there are similar models to this one. Uh, many different brands make a similar, what's called a top-like vacuum cleaner. First of all, people love Henry because Henry is easy to move around. Really light, very easy, and best of all, the last gets really easily into every nook and cranny. So much easier to move around. Um, on the other hand, we have the upright vacuum cleaners, like the ones I have over here. And uh, my favourite brand in vacuum cleaner, of course, is Sibo. Um, we use them a lot here at RD Clean. And what we have here is an upright vacuum cleaner. This machine consists of a motor in the top that generates vacuum that push the, or pull rather, the dirt and the dry soil into a bag inside the machine. And then we also have a motor at the bottom that turns the brush. Now, um, let's keep it short and let's answer Julie's question. Julie, obviously, if you have a carpet that the pile is laying down, it would be better to use an upright vacuum cleaner that has got a beta bar like this one at the bottom. This one and any other one has got a brush at the bottom. This beta bar turns around and it sweeps the carpet and the vacuum motor at the top creates a vacuum that sucks that up. Now, this is going to be better for a carpet that has got, got a pile that lay down. Whereas Henry has got a single motor at the top that generates a vacuum that that vacuum sucks through the tank at the bottom and it comes through the lines that you run on the floor. It is a single vacuum machine in most cases and there's no real agitation to the floor because this is smooth and all it does is pick up the loose dirt. So you also don't get such a great removal of dry soil with Henry inside the pile as you would do with a beta bar vacuum cleaner. Obviously, it would many times look cleaner once you use Henry um, in a similar way as you would see with the upright beta bar vacuum cleaners. But with the beta bars, you have created more agitation. You lift the dry soil outside the pile of the carpet into the machine. So, Julie, I hope that helps you. Please keep those questions coming. I love to help. Thanks a lot.